In order to improve one's quality of life, it's important to get new, good nutrition, good sleep, and of course, exercise. However, there are structural barriers that get in the way preventing Latinos from gaining access to opportunities to be physically active. While the behavior change framework has been used in order to help people to understand the importance of good sleep, good nutrition, and fitness, those structural barriers have stood against Latinos to be able to appreciate and enjoy the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. In this presentation, I will be discussing dismantling those barriers in order for Latinos to gain access to physical activity. Often, however, when Latinos want to get involved with Bife Latino, they find barriers, they find obstacles that get in the way from participating in physical activity and receiving the nutritional guidance that could benefit them. Um, you know, there's a need to improve participation of Latinos within BFIT um, and addressing these particular issues can help to do so. So structural barriers um, that the institution needs to address include common limitations like the ability to go to the gym. You know, scheduling conducive to work hours could definitely help more Latinos to go to the gym. As a personal trainer, I constantly am having conversations with other other Latinos that work within the institution that tell me they want to go to the gym. You know, um, really, like they, they're trying to figure out, but the problem is, is that often their schedule just doesn't allow them to make time. You know, childcare can also be an issue. Often, you know, people have kids and they're unable to, you know, go to the gym because well, they have family obligations. That's very common in Latino culture. Um, and so, you know, having child care services could definitely help to improve and increase participation for Latinos and be, and be fit. Um, cost, you know, is another one. Often, you know, Latinos don't have health insurance. And so having equitably affordable membership could also help to improve, um, you know, the participation of Latinos, not only within BFIT, but also at gyms, etc., and forms of transportation that make it easy for people to travel from their communities to the gym could also help to increase participation as well. Um, language may also serve as a barrier, let's not forget. And so there's a need to hire more um, bicultural, bilingual staff. Um, rather than just hiring one person, um, there should be more of an increase. And if there's an increase in hiring more bicultural and bilingual staff, then there should also be trainings that educate people on cultural awareness and how to work with other people who are from other backgrounds. So my HECP strategy uses methods of cultural humility in order to ensure that Latinos can access the gym. So we're looking beyond just the cultural competency framework where institutions are assuming the needs of Latinos. We're also looking beyond the behavior change framework in which you know, the institution is prescribing simple exercises and ways of eating, but rather we're using a cultural humility framework as part of my health equity change project in order to really identify and address the barriers that get in the way for Latinos to appreciate and enjoy uh, physical activity. So um, in order for this to occur, there must be trainings that address the implicit bias that can occur um, as a result of a cultural competency framework. So cultural competency, um, you know, often lacks self-reflection, self-critique and critical consciousness as cultural humility does include. And so shifting away from a cultural competent BFIT program more towards a cultural humility framework is key in order to ensure that more Latinos can participate in physical activity, especially within the BFIT Latino program. In conclusion, outcomes of my HECP project include trainings, recommendations, and a work plan designed to expand Bifi Latino through a cultural humility framework. 
This is ongoing work which the con institution continues to prioritize. These efforts will ensure that Latinos can participate in physical activity through programs like Bife Latino.